All right, guys, it's finally here. Welcome to the last part of Graveyard Keeper. So we have managed to get all the DLCs done and everything we could do in this one. I mean, we could have spent a bit more time in the graveyard, but like I said before, I have already played the game a few times and done lots of stuff in the base game. And this was more just so that I could pretty much experience all the DLCs. So we're just gonna pick up right where we left off and finish up the last couple of things in the playthrough. All right, I think we are finally ready to do this. I had to wait a while because they were all unhappy. All right, observation tower. Now I saved before this, so hopefully it'll work out for us. Where, was, where did that go? Down here. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get this all done before uh, they go to bed. It's getting a bit late. Come on, you can do it. Oh. The camp is flawless. Nice. I am stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Your viewing tower is so nice. Did you remark its beauty? It's not bad, but I wouldn't call it especially beautiful. So much more than a tower. It's a symbol, a symbol of freedom, a symbol of fairness. I think your work here is complete, my friend. The Lord Commander doesn't have the power to overcome our defenses. Whoa. You've done so much more than we ever expected of you. Of course, this award, which... Oh, oh God which we pitched in together for you is so little on balance with your efforts. It's not a problem, bud. I hope for our eternal gratitude will compensate for the difference. Well, gratitude in addition to material things is better than just gratitude. Also, I prepared a speech for such an... Wait, something's wrong. My kids, my kids, terrible news. What? Tell me, speak! A huge group of soldiers from town, the whole army just entered the mountain fort. There's no way we can hold off such an attack. Master Alaric was right. We have to run before it's too late. I hear you, but keep silent for a moment now. Please, I don't want everyone to panic. I need a little time to think this through. There must be a solution. It can't be the end. It can't. All this can't all be for nothing. Keeper, do you have any ideas? I'm afraid. <laughs> Both of you, leave me here, please. I must think. I must think. There must be a solution. I doubt he needs my compassion. It's better to leave him alone for now. Okay. Now, the issue is, I'm pretty sure if we go home, it's gonna do something. But then again, if we go home... Oh, okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. So we haven't saved at this point. Well, well, guys, you must be confused. Your Lord Commander let me free. So it was nice seeing you come by again sometime and so on. But right now, I'm a little busy. We weren't sent by Lord Commander, so shut up and follow us. They're looking at me weird. Something is wrong here. <laughs> Are you sure I have no choice? <laughs> you have a choice. You can refuse and we'll kill you immediately. <laughs> Incidentally, we can even bury your corpse for an additional fee. That's an incredibly attractive offer, but no. I'll save my money and come with you. Oh, hey, girl. Lady Beatrice. I'd say it's a pleasant surprise, but it's been a while, girl. Wasn't it you who tried to convince Lord Commander to incinerate me last time we met? Return to Mountain Fort, my friends. Your work here is done. As for you, Keeper, you can relax. What's the use of bringing up old silly quarrels? I'd like to give you another chance to earn my respect and my friendship. Something even more intimate. Like I already told you, I'm not interested. I have my beloved fort. Yeah, I've heard that one before, but every time it ends the same way, all males are the same. As you wish, I can pay you... Oh! I can pay you in another coin. I'll rescue your priceless refugees from the Lord Commander's soldiers. The old feels completely on the hook for me. He'd defy the king himself if I asked. And what am I supposed to do, assuming I agree? Nothing special. I need five emotions of death. Uh, why? 
why do you make these motions? Well, they know mm -hmm. the motions will prepare the bodies for the men and part soldiers for transfer transformation. What transformation? It will begin with a small injection of emotion disguised as a remedy for diarrhea. There will be a few weeks of invisible mutations, then a few hours of torment, then oblivion, silent death. And then I shall revive them as obedient and nearly invulnerable undead servants. Far more powerful than common zombies and without that nasty smell almost. Ghouls. So girls don't exist, if one knows that. Mm. Right, mm. however, your old friend Cloth will find a way to make fantasy a reality. Mm. Mm. She came up with a ritual for raising girls. I got a scroll, already used it a couple of times. Mm. The results surpassed all expectations. Uh, why can't you make it yourself? Mm. Back alchemy is difficult to practice in secret. I can't afford to take such a risk. My reputation as an inquisitor must remain absolutely pure for now. Besides, the preparation of emulsion requires dark brains. Fortunately, the Inquisition has prisoners. I used all my dark brains. They're burned along with their brains. Except when they're killed while they're trying to escape. Or Jesus, these poor fugitives. Do you really need them just for dark brains? Yeah. No, but I have something far more interesting planned. Your escape allowed me to settle legally in Mountain Fort and prepare everything for the next step. Your friend Alric didn't tell you that it was I who threw out him the hint on the way of rescuing the prisoners. I don't understand. Is it time for everything, my dear? Uh, let me guess, it was you who sent the monsters to kill me. Why would you say that? It was you, thanks to your stinky spell. You know, the whole time where I was and what I was doing. Not bad, but don't worry. The aroma you hate so much will dissipate soon enough. And it was your fault the magic that Alaric used on Clotho didn't work. A few drops of jasmine juice and Alaric's final chance to stop the ancient curse was lost. Bingo, my dear. However, thank you for your investigation. It was amusing to say the least, observing your numerous efforts. Uh, what do you need girls for? What the hell are you doing with all this stuff? This all sounds crazy. It's so typical of people, Keeper. If there's something they don't understand, they call it crazy. It's too soon to reveal everything yet. Wait a little while, and your curiosity will be more than satisfied. What if I refuse to make these? That would be most unpleasant to change from a potential partner to an unwanted witness. So I'd be obliged to dispose of you in a most dramatic manner. And then I'll use the dark brains of your refugee friends after the Lord's people kill them. You see, I'll get what I need either way, but you're still able to save some lives. It's time for you to choose, Keeper. I go tired and the morning draws near. Alright, so because we're going to be reloading the save, we're going to... I don't know which one to choose. We're going to check out all the endings, right? So let's agree to help her. Mm -hmm. Lovely, I wasn't particularly in the mood for violence today. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, time is short. The Lord Commander could declare an assault on the refugee camp any day. I understand. I hope you understand one more thing. If anyone learns of the things I've told you, you'll be sorry I didn't kill you at once. How should I deliver the emotions to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the code word retribution to the guard at the mountain fort. When I get my five emotions, I'll hold up my end of our deal. I'll persuade the Lord Commander to leave the refugees alone. I was in kisses, my dear. You're a darling. She's right. Time short. Better get to work making those emotions. What other choice do I have? Do I talk to Alric? spell is still working, she'll hear every word. On the other hand, if I choose my words carefully, she might not su suspect a thing. Or I can just expose Beatrice, tell the Lord Commander everything. It might be rather difficult. He likes her and won't want to believe me. But Kakol hates her. Maybe he could help me with this. If I whisper a word to Kakol, my deal with Beatrice will be off. Hmm. Okay. Motion of death. Alright, let's see if Kakul's here. Tell him everything about Lady Beatrice? 
It'd be hard to persuade him I don't have any evidence. And if I even try to tell him any of it, my deal with Beatrice is off. Kill the deal and tell him everything? Cole, I have some extremely important information for you and the Lord Commander. Lady Beatrice is planning to inject all the soldiers of the mountain fort with a death emulsion. After that, she's going to revive them all as ghouls. Why aren't you saying anything? I'm trying to figure out whether you're drunk or you're off or you're not. <laughs> she's just a nasty bitch. I can't argue with that. But ghouls? Man, couldn't you think of anything more realistic? Ghouls don't exist. Yes, everyone says so, but I'm not lying. You're all in great danger. Yes, and I don't have time for stupid jokes. We're getting ready for battle. I need to take care that the boss doesn't notice that half the weaponry has vanished. So buy something or shove off. Wait, there's one piece of evidence. Beatrice owns a scroll of ghoul raising. If Kiko sees that scroll, then he'll believe me. I need to talk to him one more time. The deal with Beatrice is off anyway. <laughs> okay. Ask Kiko to steal the scroll? That's what we're supposed to do. Cool, you'll find a scroll of ghoul raising among Beatrice's stuff, and then you'll know I'm telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. Let me get this straight. You're saying I should search through the Inquisitor's stuff, is that it? You idiot, they'll quarter me. The Lord Commander will protect. Protect me? That fool has one thought in his head all day, serenading his lovely Beatrice. He'd rather send half his soldiers into the bonfire than quarrel with her. to do. Does it matter? Let's do this one. If you want to help me, I'll handle this on my own. Call the Lord Commander? Well, okay, but get ready to be beaten with sticks the second you open your mouth. Didn't I tell you not to distract me? I've almost finished the lyrics for my second verse. I'll only take a moment, my lord. This will be most amusing, you'll see. Our commander, I have terrible news about Lady Beatrice. Oh my gosh, what happened to the poor girl? I do hope this doesn't mean that our moonlit walk today is cancelled. <laughs> She's a villain, my lord. She wants to kill all of your people and raise a ghoul army. Like I told you, it's stupid, but it's funny. Wait, wait, and how did you learn of her sinister plot? She told me about them herself. She wanted to ha my help and I agreed. And then I decided to expose her. To expose her? Oh, did you hear that? Never do business with graveyard keepers. Otherwise, they'll expose you. <laughs> Keeper, I do like your sense of humor. What a splendid joke. It's not a joke, it's the truth. Please believe me. Listen, my boy, to thank you for a few these few moments of laughter, I shall be merciful and let you go. If I ever hear about anything like this again about my precious, precious lady Beatrice, I shall imprison you and torment you until your death. Is that clear? Okay, I got it. <laughs> Yeah, I was expecting something bloodier. One day, Kiko, you'll find out I was right, but then it'll be too late. Seems the only thing I can do is warn Teodoro of the coming assault. Alright, I guess that's what we do then, because there's nothing else. Are you sure you don't want to talk? No? Okay. Alright, let's uh, head on over. Buddy! <laughs> Sorry, Marcus, but it's all I can do for you. But, Haradric, there wouldn't be any risk to the villagers. The village is protected by the ancient contract. Please shelter at least some of us. You overestimate the power of the contract. If the Inquisition learned that you settled in the village, the contract wouldn't. Keeper, you have returned. Please tell me that you bring good news. I'd love to do that, but I'm afraid the assault is unavoidable, Marcus. You and your people have to run away as soon as possible. Yeah, run away, but where? We're trapped between town and the mountain the mountain yeah, fort. Yeah, yeah. The only way left is the swamps, but no one who has tried to cross the swamps has ever returned. Yeah, Hold on, I have an idea. Yeah, Keeper, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna need your help. Come talk to me tomorrow. Uh okay. Alright, let's see if he's gonna talk yet. 
you had an idea about the refugees? Yes, yes. Now come close and listen carefully. See that drunkard with the dice? That's a farmer smuggler captain. One day he tried to rob the desert witch and she put a curse on him. Now he has the mind of an ostrich. The point is, he has a vessel and, let me guess, if I can break his curse, he'd be willing to get the refugees out of here. True, but it won't be easy. The golden apple of wisdom is the only thing that can cure him theoretically. And that's definitely a bit more complicated than I thought, but okay, thank you, Herodric. One second. One gold. For what? What's the perfect plan? Did you think I'd do this stuff for free? Roderick, are you seriously trying to earn money off the tragedies of others? Yes, I am. <laughs> it's not like... It's not that I like it, Keeper, but it's the real world. The truth is, everybody survives however they can. If you live as long as I have, you'll see that I'm right. Let's see. Give him a golden apple. I don't have a golden apple. I can go get one. Alright, buddy, I come bearing a golden apple. Like Captain Lick the golden apple? Sure, why not? Oh, arr, arr, arr. Arr, bad luck, not um today. Um, oh, no, uh, day, um today, bad today, luck. Um, arr. Day, oh, no, hey, what oh, the oh, hell oh, am I doing here? And where is my rum, you land lovers? <laughs> Here's the short version. You were cursed and I made you lick the golden apple of wisdom and you're alright now. In exchange, you'll kindly bring a group of people with their luggage to some safe place far from here. It's very urgent and nobody must know about our deal. You, you mean that you helped me so much and you request just a small voyage in exchange? Exactly. Please don't thank me. <laughs> you're so kind. No, it isn't that easy to pull off. There's a lot of additional overhead. I need money for drinks and girls for the crew, new uniforms, overhaul the whole. Altogether, it will cost an additional a three. Now you listen to me, you greedy scoundrel. I'm damn tired of all this stuff. I'm tired of people using my good deeds against me. I already did enough for you. I'm not paying a penny more. If you agree to my terms, then just do what I asked. But if you insist on more, you go to hell. Seriously, just go to hell. Our keeper is very angry. Uh, 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 be easy, dude. It was a joke. I agree. This will be the best voyage ever. Okay. Now what? You can have your gold. <laughs> you stingy. Your money. I hope you're satisfied. Yes, quite, quite. Okay, now what? I don't know what we do now. Do we just go to camp? Um, where's our buddy? I'm assuming we just come here. Alright, about Captain Andrew Deal. If I tell him right now, all the refugees will depart very soon. I'm sure I don't have any unfinished business with them. Yes, Keeper? Uh, pack your stuff. The sooner you leave the shores, the better. I arranged everything with the smuggler, Captain Marcus. He'll get you all safely out of here. Damned, I worked so hard, but the only thing I achieved is your exile. That's not the best outcome, but, you know, we survived and that's what's important. It was a pleasure to meet you, Graveyard Keeper. Actually, you helped us quite a lot and we'll never forget it. All that remains is to say goodbye, oh my god, and reward you with for your efforts. Did he just reward me with all those things I bought? People, everyone, come here. Ah, dammit. <laughs> Oh, we haven't found a supper. <laughs> Friends of mine, we struggled with every fiber of our being, but now we must withdraw. This camp will soon be destroyed by our enemies, but it will remain in our hearts forever. A monument to courage, friendship, and loyalty. A new life awaits us on distant shores. And we have the graveyard keeper to thank for this new chance. Thank you, keeper. Thank you. But that's not all. I swear one day we shall return to our native land, to town. With fire and sword, we shall restore justice. We'll reclaim everything we once had. Maybe even more. I swear this before you. Remember this day and these my words. Oh. Hooray! 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 Refugees are safe. You rescued the refugees. 
Oh, yay! What do we do now? Um. Do, do, do you guys just go? So are they here or are they gone? Maybe we should. Oh, Master Alaric's still here. Whoa. Should we say goodbye to him? Hold on. Is there. Is no one else we can talk to? Maybe we should wait and see if they're all still here. Oh, they are still here. When did they leave? Do I have to say goodbye to them all? Where's our, where's our buddy? Oh, no. Okay, we can't say goodbye to her. We can't say goodbye to her. But will you stop so I can talk to you? But, 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 what you do? But, <laughs> but, what, where are you going? But. I have no clue what we're supposed to do. We can say goodbye to Alaric. I don't know if that does anything though. Maybe that's kind of like the end of it. Say goodbye to him and see what happens. Hey, it was nice meeting you, Master Alaric. I suppose you're going with the others on the ship. I think I must, but afterwards I'll leave Teodoro and his people. I'm not sure Teodoro will ever find the strength to forgive me or that I'll forgive myself. Where will you go? I'll try to find the desert witch. She's said to be the wisest of women. Perhaps she knows another way to stop the ancient curse. Though I don't have much hope left, then I can only wish you good luck. Good luck to you as well, Keeper. Take care of yourself. You're a good man. Ah, oh, we got into a hundred. Maybe today he'll tell me a secret. Why does Theodora hate Alaric so much? Can we ask him? I know what you want to ask. It was I who inflicted upon Teodoro the most awful pain of his life. Did he kill his mommy and daddy? As a senior inquisitor, I was responsible for the case of his parents. I was the chairman on their court, the man who decided their sentence and handed it down. And it was I who gave the signal to ignite the wood. Oh, dude. Were they really obsessed with black magic? I tried to interrogate them. But they were like wild animals. I had to use black magic to penetrate their memory. Within their minds, I found nothing but ruins covered with cold darkness. They'd forgotten each other, their son, themselves. Why didn't you destroy the cause of the tragedy, the Necronomicon? I wanted to, but the counselor sold it to the university. The war against the heretics required more and more money. You think the sentence was a mistake? No, death was the best release for them. But I could have done much more for their poor orphan. Now it's too late. Technically everything ended well, but I feel a little uneasy. We got in Lady Beatrice's way, but we didn't stop her. Who knows what the other diabolical plans she had. Who knows whether the Desert Witch will tell Master Alaric anything useful, or whether he'll find her at all. Marcus and the refugees are safe, but that speech was worrying. Obsession with revenge is an awful thing. Nevertheless, I did my best, and I don't have any regrets. That seems more like an end. They're gone. Oh, it's so quiet here. I hope they're all okay. Oh man. <laughs> That's such a sad ending. Aww. Oh, just, we lost all our friends. They're just gone. So sad. So is Alaric still in there just now? Probably not, yeah. Oh, he's gone. Everybody's gone. Alright, let's do a sermon. Hey, lovely folks. Couldn't we have, like, sent all those people to, like, the church? Or they could have, like, wore those robes and then they would have never been found. Well, they probably would have, but that's not the point. They could have stole the robes. And they could have joined us in our ceremonies. But no, they got sent off to another world. It kind of makes me think of, like, Game of Thrones, which is really funny, actually, since it's called Game of Thrones. Yeah. Donation. 
donations if they're, if they're done. Perfect. Oh, note from unknown. Oh, hey, recipe. Recipe for bank universal bag? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <gasps> that was the last thing we needed. Did we get that from our buddy? Oh, we must have done. That's cool. I wonder if we got that. I don't even know where we got that. Big universal bag. What am I looking for? Oh, a note. Oh, we got. Oh, we got all these too. So we already have these, so kind of pointless. But this is what I want to see. Hmm, what is this? Someone left me a note. I'm extremely disappointed in you, my dear. Oh god, is it Lady Beatrice? I'm cheating me, you have made a great mistake and you will pay for it. I will do all I can to make your life a nightmare. See you soon. Well, I should have expected worse. <laughs> oh, it's a noise. You've unlocked a new technology and got a perk. Eloquence. A note in the church made you more vigilant and careful, and your prayers more sincere. From now on, you'll be gathering more faith. Cool, but we don't need it. I'm gonna assume that is the end of this. Because I don't think there's anything else we can do. Like, they are gone. Let's just double check. Uh, the camp. And see. Yeah, everybody's gone. Everybody left. And Lady Beatrice is out for blood. So, what we're gonna do now is we are gonna reload and it should take us pretty much back to the camp before we went and met with her, I think. So, let's find out. Alright, so I reloaded and we are ready to go, but I did just uh, make some new stuff. So, this is the brewing stand, which I think is for part of the ending. And I also built up the light network thing. So we've got all these new lamps and everything for nighttime when our zombies are working in the dark. So it goes all the way to the quarry. But we are gonna continue on now and get the next ending in the Game of Thrones DLC. Alright, so for the second end, we are actually just gonna go with her and do whatever she wants. We're not gonna betray her again. So let's see how it plays out. Alright, so what is it she wants us to do again? Let's skip some of this because, uh, I'll say the code word retribution to the guard. Okay, retribution is the code We need five emulsions. Okay, retribution, retribution. Here, we skip all this because we've already seen it all. Okay, so the reason I built up this is because I'm pretty sure, yep, there we go. So we need death solution, okay. Just said we only need five, so we only need like one batch. Let's get some death solution and go make them. Good thing we've been stocking up. <laughs> so let's see how this turns out. I don't know what she's gonna do. Oh, we have to wait for it. Okay. Uh, we'll come back. Just go there now? Uh, let's see. Man and four. Hello. Give him five emotions of death? <laughs> Code word! I already gave you the emotions, damn bureaucrats. Retribution! Did you see you're one of us? I'll inform the lady. Wait here. Eh? Okay. What have we done? 
I... I was sure you would betray me, but you're smarter than I expected, or more cowardly. I technically already did betray you, and it didn't go very well. I'm satisfied either way. Both are first steps towards loyalty and obedience. Take your emotions and do as you promise, but don't expect any more services from me. You're mistaken again. The path you just started on doesn't let turn people turn back. This one step is enough, believe me. I know it more than anyone. One thing I want to hear, will the refugees be safe? Of course, until you tell anyone more than they should know. Okay. Go see our buddy then. Can we really trust her though? Seriously, can we? I think he's sleeping. Oh god. I'm gonna have to wait. You see, look at my little fires all lit up. It goes all the way down to like our little um, house, pretty much. It's cool. Got one here as well. I. I I was going to put them all the same, but then I thought, you know what, we'll have a little, we'll like mix it up and have different ones. So I put a light in every space. Between those ones, the wooden lanterns and just the torches. It's kind of cool. Now my zombies can see where they're going in the night. <laughs> when they are doing some work. Alright, let's go see our buddy and deliver the news that they're safe, even though I pretty sure that we can't trust her. Uh, I don't know where he is. Oh god. Oh god. Why does he always disappear? But... Oh, sorry. Was you busy? Where are you going? Are you going to your bench again? We're going to have a... No, you're not going to your bench? You're going to check on the garden? I tell the refugees that they're safe. I've done all I can, Marcus. Nothing is threatening your people anymore. Neither the Lord Commander soldiers nor the Inquisitors will disturb you. I knew that trusting you was the best decision I ever made. Look like at all these people. They are alive thanks to you. You'll have your reward immediately, but our gratitude is impossible to measure with material things. People, everyone, come here. Oh, we're gonna party again. But only this time they're not saying bye. <laughs> friends, my friends. We have fought like hell and we've won. All the threats we were facing, it's all behind us. Each of you is a hero. And together we are a true bastion of courage, friendship and loyalty. This place will be our new home, a shelter for anyone who wants to join our brotherhood. And we must thank the graveyard keeper. He was the one who made this future possible. Yeah. Yay, thank you. But that's not all. I swear one day we shall return to our native land town. Okay, we saw that. Fire and sword, we shall restore justice when we claim everything we once had, yet maybe even more. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, we heard him say that. Okay, um. We talk. Alright, let's try talking to our buddy again. Just to talk to him. Ask about Alaric's plans. I wonder if it'll be the same as the first playthrough. Oh, the first ending. Uh, Master Alaric, what are you going to do now that the threat to the refugees has passed? Maybe not. The best thing I can do is to get as far away from Teodoro and his people as possible. I'm not sure Teodoro will ever find the strength to forgive me or that I'll forgive myself. Where will you go? Okay, so he's still gonna go to the same place. Okay, then I can only wish you good luck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, but I'm not so sure. Okay. Is he going to oh! We got a new perk from him? Okay, we didn't get that in the first ending. Persistence. Despite all the danger and risk, you courageously face down your enemies and won. Your backbone has gotten firmer and now restores more energy. I'm guessing that's probably just going to be the same. We'll just run through it. Just in case there's anything different. I don't think there will be though. Yeah, it sounds all the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well. 
good. Why? Why is my energy going up? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that, is that one of the perks we just got? I have no idea. My, my energy is going up for some reason. Oh, he's gone. Damn vampire back. Huh. I don't know, man. That's weird. Maybe that was that persistence one we just got from him? What's this? Hmm, donkey never leaves corpses here. How strange. A note. Wait, what? What's that? That one that we just got? Fortitude. A tiny request, my dear. Sinino. These soldiers refuse their injections. No, Fortitude. Whether they know the truth or not, keeping them alive was an unnecessary risk. No, Nino. Get rid of the bodies as soon as possible. Thousand and kisses and stay in touch. Our work together has just begun. Oh god. Ah crap. Oh. Unlock new technology. Industriousness. Any work develops you. Even the work of evil. You've accepted your dark side and it's enabled you to craft more effectively. Oh. Yeah. Well. We're not going to do anything with these bodies because I think that is the end of the dark one. Or the, what I would class as the bad ending. <laughs> it's definitely a bad ending. Let's just double check that there's nothing in our house waiting for us. No. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to do the exact same thing again and we are going to reload the save and... We're going to choose not help her. Alright, so this is the last one. So we're gonna say your plans are monstrous, don't count on my help. Are you sure? Thanks to your ridiculous pride, far more people will suffer, including you. Moment of truth. Maybe she's right and then she'll win no matter what I do. But can I somehow foil her plans? I refuse. Don't hold your breath waiting for my help. It was a pleasure to meet you, Keeper. I'll remember you as you are now. Because for the rest of your life, you'll live with the appearance of the most disgusting creature ever. A skunk. Seriously. <laughs> this is bad. It's really bad. If she does it, I'll remain a skunk forever. Wait a second. That's an awful idea. Exactly. Awful for you. No, awful for you too. Your magic could be dispelled by someone. But if you killed me and threw my body into the water, everyone would figure I'd drown while I was fishing. Nobody would suspect you. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. It could even be an opportunity to frame that nosy twerp. Cool. Everyone would be better off with that stinky hunchback rotten in prison. Yes, I like it. Oh, bollocks. No, 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 no. Doesn't she know that if I die, I just come back to life in the house? Bye bye, my dear. She's just on their way in. You have died. It's resurrected in our house. <laughs> Dude, no smell. By throwing me into the water, she destroyed her own spell. Nice. Now I just have to expose Lady Beatrice. I'll tell the Lord Commander everything. It might be difficult to convince her. He likes her. But Cole hates her. Maybe he can help me with this. Alright, let's go see our buddy. Oh, not that way. This way. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Um, everything. I'm assuming we just have to play this kind of this similar way to the first time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, so everything's the same so far. Let's just uh, keep going. Mm -hmm. That's about to scroll, yeah. Okay. That's the same as well. Trying to get him to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there's another one. It's in your best interest to help me, Cole. Lady Beatrice has plans for you. Stop it. Me? What plans? She said your death would be an opportunity to frame that nosy twerp, Cole. Everyone would be better off with that stinky hunchback rot in prison. Word for word. <laughs> yeah, she's the only one who calls me nosy twerp. And she thinks she can frame me? So you believe me now? This, this change is nothing. It's a certain death to go against her. Maybe three gold? Will that be change your mind? And I'll accept the blade if anything goes wrong. Hmm, three gold. Exactly, you can tell them I threatened you or something. Do you see it? Gold? Beautiful sparkling gold? Tomorrow night I'll be here with the scroll if it exists. Okay. Alright, so this should be the next night. About the school. Did you succeed? Dude, I have to say, that was really cool. Um, I hope you didn't leave any evidence of your search. <laughs> of course not, I only put a rotten fish in her bill and wrote a naughty word on her mirror with their lipstick. I just couldn't help it. And the scroll, do you have it? What scroll? <laughs> Calm down, that's a joke, here it is. Ooh. Interesting, it looks like a page torn from the Necronomicon. As I recall, all the pages of the Necronomicon were intact. Well, uh, let's put an end to this. Let's go to the Lord Commander. Oh, this is all different. My mirror, my pillow, I demand you punish that stinky hunchback immediately. Don't worry, my dear, as soon as we get to the fort, I'll put him on the rack. Oh, Keeper, how could you? Well, you deserved it. Yes. How indeed. Let's see. Lord Commander, you should know something about Lady Beatrice. She is a villain. She's planning to kill all of your people and raise a ghoul army. <laughs> Why is he laughing? You're killing a ghoul army. Are you mad, young man? Seems I should have the executioner prepare two racks. Look at this scroll, my lord. I found it in Lady Beatrice's room during the search that she's protesting. What is this abomination? My dear, do you know something about this? It's Nothing, my lord. I'm seeing it for the first time just like you. Liar. For the first time, are you sure the thing reeks of your revolutionary unique freshener? The one you used in my home? Mm, it is indeed a familiar aroma. My lord, this is just awful slander. They're trying to pull us apart. How could I be planning something so terrible if I love you? You love? Is, is it true? Of course she does. Look, I even found a love note among her stuff during the search you already know about. My sweetheart, Kiko, can you imagine my disgust when the elderly maniac tries to teach me, etc. What? What the hell? <laughs> elderly? Elderly? Soldiers arrest Lady Beatrice. Miserable worms, you can't even imagine the power you seek to resist. My defeat means nothing. The true king, purified by betrayal, damnation, and holy fire, will deliver everyone the justice they deserve. The end is nigh. Gosh, I, I can't believe it. How could she, after all I did for her? Keeper, you it seems you saved us from the greatest of dangers. How can I ever thank you? But you could promise to leave the refugees alone, and of course I wouldn't turn down a material reward. I promise. And as for your reward here, take this, it's not too much, but... Oh, I don't feel well. My migraine has returned, along with my remutism and this blasted nervous tick. Soldiers, we're going to hope. Interesting. You know, I like that elderly maniac after all. It's so easy to manipulate him. <laughs> I never imagined the old love note trick could work so perfectly. The right timing is the key to success. So when did you write that note? <laughs> the day after that arrogant bitch came to the fort. <laughs> really? He was planning it from that long ago? Man, that's nuts. 
Alright, well, it's been fun, buddy. I'm gonna leave you to it. Alright, let's go find our buddy and give him the good news, which I don't even know what the news is anymore. Um, oh, he's on the move. He's on the move. Where is he headed? Can we talk? Sure. <laughs> uh, tell the refugees that they're safe. I've done all I can. Uh, nothing is threatening your people anymore. Okay, that's what we said in the second one. <laughs> That's right, give me all that good stuff. Okay. We're gonna rejoice. It seems like it's gonna play out the same way as the um the second one. If we don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, this is all the same. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay, that should be it. Uh talk to Alric. Okay. Hey bad, I'm back for the third time even though you don't have any recollection of it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is is he gonna stay? Oh no, he's still gonna leave. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna get um, him to leave on his own in like both the second and third ones. So he's gone. Oh no, he's still there. Oh yeah, we could do that again. So if we talk to him about this, then he should leave. Yeah, that was exactly the same. Alright. So now... Go back in. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. So I guess that's the good ending. Alright, let's move into... Making our house a little bit different now that we have finished all three endings of the Game of Thrones DLC. Alright. Diamond carpet. How do they have to make diamond paint? That's awesome. I don't even know what colors we've got. Maybe we should bring that stuff inside first. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Let's take the silk because we're going to need it. And we've got black paint, dark green paint, dark violet paint, violet paint, white paint, yellow paint, and green paint. Alright, let's get some color in this lovely little home. Common carpet. I'm thinking we want a, a light carpet or a dark carpet. I feel like dark carpet. But do we want like real dark? What else can we do? Walls. Bedspread. And a carpet. I think we'll go dark green. How does that work then? That doesn't even fit. Oh, that does. Oh, is that maybe because there's one there already? Ah. Ah, look at that. That's cool. Alright. Um, let's do a... I'm thinking... Dark violet bed spread. Cool. Um, apply? Sure. <laughs> and wallpaper, we need some glue. That's good. Skull and bats. Black shadow. Void purple. Oh, this is cool. Alright, so we need to do the plum violet actually. Although I like the idea of this stuff here. Come on, let's go get a feather. 
and check out what the skull and bones thing is. Because I have no clue what that will be. Uh, I hope we have a feather. Oh gosh, we have a feather. We have one feather. <laughs> one feather. Oh god. Well, so far so good. So, in thinking about it, the um, endings for the Game of Crone thing, I feel like even though some people died, the third one seemed to offer more to the player. I've, I've just left the game going from the, um, the, well, the third one that we did, um, the good ending where we didn't kill people, because we're not that cruel. But yeah, I don't know. Skull and bat. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh my god, look at the look at the Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Is there anything else we can do? Oh, I was I saw it had like pictures. You can put pictures up. Oh, we need another one. Red eye? Interesting. Could do the red eye one. Yeah, let's get the stuff for that. So we need another feather and some paper. Alright, let's have a look at what this does. Do we do the red eye one? I kind of feel like we should. Ah, uh, that's cool. Oh, we can have a few of them. Oh, that just makes it so cool. Ah, that's a picture of a red eye. Um, should we do the bishop choice? Let's see what that one is. That's kind of creepy, I don't want that there. What's the other one actually? Burning Witch. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Let's put that above our bed. <laughs> Let's see. I ran out of paper. But oh, we got some pictures up, that's cool. Home is looking nice. Nice indeed. Okay, so I don't think we have anything else to do right now. I think we'll get everything ready for the portal because I think that's all we have left to do. We have completed all the stuff for the Very Safe Soul DLC except for Helping Smiler. And we have done all of the Game of Thrones stuff, we've seen all three endings, and we have done all of the stuff for... what is the other one called? Stranger Sins. So I think what we're gonna do is grab all the stuff that we need, and we're gonna head up to the portal and start getting that ready to go. You wanna talk, Jared? I don't think so. I think everything we need is here. So we, I think we need the Endless Notebook, the Eternal Burning Coal, the Salt Fork, Mirror of Pride, maybe the Necklace, the Golden Angle, I think that's all we need. I don't recall. Yeah, I would spend a lot more time in the graveyard, in the church and stuff, but when I played the game the first couple of times, I spent a lot of time in that because I didn't have any of the DLCs. So before we head to the portal, let's have a look chat with Smiler. Uh, everything's ready for your departure. Smiler, you can change your mind at any time. Oh, I thought you meant the portal portal. Oh, come on, I'm 100% sure. Not this portal. <laughs> Wow, we could have done this ages ago. Hey, what's going on here? Spider decided to leave. Oh, this is great, it's about time. Finally, everything will be nice and quiet again, just like it used to be. Jerry, you shouldn't talk like that, especially right in front of him. <laughs> it's alright, Keeper, don't worry. At least I won't be staring at an annoying frozen face all the time. <laughs> don't joke about that. Guys, enough. Are you ready? Why even ask? Let's do it. Uh, I didn't go very far or see very much, but what we did together was fun. Guys, I hope our souls will someday meet again. Goodbye. Return to the beginning. Oh, the 
Look at him go! Uh, so that's how they fly away. It's so beautiful. Our buddy's gone. I feel kind of sad. We lost a friend. <laughs> does this box still open? It does. Interesting. Could we put a soul in there? I mean, we don't have a soul, but if we did have a soul, could we put a soul in there? And then... Have another smiler? I don't know. So yeah, I was... <laughs> stupid and thought that he was talking about the portal on Witch Hill. It turns out he wasn't. <laughs> but that's where we're going now. So... He has gone bye-bye. And now we're gonna go bye bye. Hopefully. So let's see if I can remember what we have to do here. I think we just use the items and it builds things up. Oh, look, some of them have lights on them. Why? Why do some of them have lights on them? Everything is ready, but what's next? How do you turn on the portal? Oh, hey there, Jarvis. So are you gonna leave? I need to go back to my love. I'm really sad now. I'll miss you. Me too. Sadly, this portal isn't just for traveling. You can make your heart's desire come true. But be careful what you say. We definitely don't need another great blast. No, we do. <laughs> my friend, we've come to say goodbye. Oh, well, it's not working anyway. How did you know? Well, we've been banned from the town. Two brothers, one the royal court, the other is a high cleric. That sort of thing looks suspicious to the royal council. So we went to the tavern and then Lawrence had a feeling in his stomach that you were here. But I did manage to excommunicate half the town before we left. Haha! <laughs> now the only official church is the church beside the graveyard. You, can't, you can take the church and the garden if you want. Enjoy it. Symbols are starting to shine. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Tita, Harvard. We barely managed to escape the town. The Lord Commander used all his influence to slander us. To be honest, it wasn't hard to find something to pin on us. The town is quite a mess these days. The dead rise. The Lord Inquisitor is accused of being the leader of a dark cult. It is a terrible time. Bishop has excommunicated the town. They were asking for it. <laughs> we're going to hide in the lighthouse for a while. Maybe we'll be able to get in touch with Wagner somehow. I told you he'd be here. I see you're planning on leaving us, my friend. Yes, Monsignor. This is bad, very bad. The curse is only gaining the momentum. We can't stop it. Maybe too late. I should feel great about it, but I'm not. We're gonna settle here and rebuild our old house. Oh, that's okay. This place is sacred and protected from the curse. It is. But still, we'll be facing an amazing time. Everything will change. I'll pray for our safety. The last light is done. It works. At last, my wish came true. I'll be with my love. Working. That's cool. Oh god. Sweetheart! My love! We're on the wrong side of the portal. <laughs> uh oh. So use your handkerchief, it's the only thing we have from our world. What's this? Maybe the machine will show us what really happened. I still don't understand, my love. I hope so much that you'd be able to tell me everything. Is this another world? Is it an illusion? Or is it life after death? But since you remember nothing, we must take this final chance to learn the truth. I don't think I would have seen this because isn't this part of the um the DLC? Okay, so we saw this right at the beginning. We're doing our shopping. Yeah. That's it. Uh, 
Well, we died. What happened? Where is everything? I'm down. You've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. Two chapters, actually. Let's start the wheat from the chaff. Do I have a broken arm? Wait, what? What just happened? Merely a safeguard against possible failure. What the hell? Tell me right now, who are you and what's going on here? Who is that? Well, see if you can figure out, my overly aggressive friend. The town awaits you. I don't understand. And you won't need to. On the count of three, you'll forget everything. Three. What happened? Where is everything? Calm down, you've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. So life resets up. <laughs> oh, we still don't know who the red-eyed man is. Oh man. I'm gonna skip this though because we've seen it. Um Yeah, okay, so we're officially finished with the graveyard keeper. <laughs> but I don't I don't know if I remember seeing those end scenes like the first couple of times I played it. But I'm assuming that if that was the end of the base game then I must have seen them. I just don't remember them. But good lord. Oh, that's just, it's been so much fun replaying this game and seeing all the DLC for the first time. I really enjoyed it. I loved all of it. And I'm so glad that I went back and replayed the full game. So, unfortunately, I did miss an achievement. So I have one missing <laughs> for 100%. But I am not going to replay the whole game again because it's just going to take a long time because it's obviously an uh, achievement that's quite later on in the base game so we'll just leave it at that and just pretend that I got it and we've like fully completed the game so yay next up is gonna be probably uh, Final Fantasy 16 I would assume since that is next on my list that I have so that is what we will be starting next and yeah that's where we're going and of course Spooky Saturdays will continue on Saturdays and Short Sundays will continue on Sundays as usual so thanks for stopping by and hanging out during this playthrough and I will see you all in the next one